Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market update for Friday, June 10th. Stocks on Wall Street are back down again after snapping a six-session losing streak yesterday. A report on import and export prices is weighing on sentiment this morning. It showed that import prices rose two-tenths of a percent in May. That was the smallest gain this year, but economists had been looking for a decline. On a year-over-year basis, prices have jumped 12.5%, the largest increase since September of 2008. On the positive side, fuel costs dipped slightly, their first decline in eight months. But that was offset by higher prices for imports of industrial supplies and materials and finished goods. Export prices also rose two-tenths of a percent last month, down from a more than 1% gain in April. Overnight, China reported that its trade surplus rose by $2 billion in May, a smaller increase than expected. Following the data, Treasury prices are holding on to their gains, along with the U.S. dollar. Those investments represent relative strength in the market, especially compared to the euro. It's losing ground as investors worry about disagreements between Eurozone officials on how to resolve Greece's debt problems. The strength in the dollar today is acting as a drag on commodities prices. Gold is now dropping to around $1,530 an ounce and oil prices are falling back below $101 a barrel, following a three-day rally prompted by OPEC's failure to boost its output quotas. Meanwhile, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York is weighing in on the U.S. economy. William Dudley said that downside risks to economic growth have increased. Specifically, the recent drop in home prices could dampen consumer spending, prompting businesses to limit hiring. Dudley also said that aggressive government spending cuts could slow growth in the short to medium term. Turning to corporate news, national semiconductor is little changed in early trading. After yesterday's closing bell, the chipmaker reported a decline in its quarterly profit and sales figures. But revenue topped analyst estimates. In April, National Semi agreed to be acquired by Texas Instruments, which cut its earnings outlook for the current quarter earlier this week. Meanwhile, Goodyear Tire and Rubber is dropping 4%. Goodyear is selling its global wire business to South Korea's Hyosung for about $50 million, and the two companies will sign a multi-year supply agreement once the deal closes. One of the day's biggest stock winners is Lululemon Athletica, jumping nearly 7% right now. The retailer posted a 70% increase in fiscal first quarter profit on strong sales of its yoga apparel. Lululemon also projected earnings for the current quarter and the full year that are well ahead of Wall Street estimates. And finally, analyst downgrades may weigh on a couple of stocks today. Credit Agricole cut Colgate Palmolive to sell, pushing that stock down about 1%. And Jeweler Zale is tumbling 5% after it lost its buy rating at Bank of America. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day and a fabulous weekend.